dropped you off at my truck. Good morning. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and good afternoon or good evening if you're catching this. Whenever you're catching this, welcome back. I don't know how well this is gonna work because you're literally prepped up and I'm driving. So, um, and I guess this isn't gonna work, huh, with the camera? I'm gonna dye my own hair. You guys, this is a big deal. I'm definitely gonna need like another trim soon just to get some more of the dead ends away. I'm already like trying to grow out my undercut and it's awful. So my plan today is to get just a little bit of bleach, okay? We're not gonna touch my roots because I have a fair amount of new growth, which is dark, I have very dark hair, but I'm not gonna touch that today. Today, I'm just gonna work on like mid strand, mid shaft of the hair because I have a lot of sections where the bleach did not penetrate the dreadlocks. So, oops, sorry for that bumpy. So I wanna just kinda like touch up sections, right? Like I don't wanna full on bleach the whole strand. I don't wanna over process what's already like pretty light. I just wanna work on like the dark spots in the middle of each strand essentially. So I have got some lavender. I'm trying to get rid of this like brassy, orange, gold also, right? So it's like I have some here and I have some here, but I'm not gonna be touching a lot of this bottom section. So I'm going to just like touch up what needs to be touched up and I'm only gonna do 20 ball because I don't need to be 40 and, and breaking off. So 20 volume, let it process, and then put a semi-permanent over top, which is Era Eero. Um, it's a lavender, it's a pastel color, so it's gonna be, you know, really pretty, but it's gonna fade really pretty, and that's what I want. But the sun is shining, I can't complain. Lots of traffic on the boulevard, as always, but I'll take you along with me for the fun. We're just gonna play around with it and see what happens. I have this like mohawk going on because that's realistically all the hair that I have. Um, and once this grows out, I'll probably cut this a little bit shorter so that it can kind of grow out together, but it's just gonna be an interesting grow out process. And I really don't like it, but you gotta work with what you got. So let me change out of this and I'm gonna get some stuff mixed up and we're gonna get rolling here, oh my God. I got some foils. I got the cream lightener. I got 20 vol, like I said, the developer just 20. I don't wanna fry my hair too much. I got a brush and I got the mixer with a mini brush. I don't know, this looked kind of poopy. This looked a lot better, so, and there's a clip in there too. Realistically, my plan is not a professional. So don't come at me in the comments and say, what are you doing? Girl, I don't know what I'm doing. We're just, we're winging it. You know that's how I do everything. So I'm gonna take a section, I'm gonna foil it, and I'm gonna like brush it here so it's not blunt, right? I'm just gonna kind of brush it here and focus on this mid shaft. Leave the ends, it is what it is. I also am kind of torn, do I do like a test strand because that's what I should do, but I'm just so eager to do this because I'm so nervous. I'm gonna mix this up, I'm gonna see what happens. Stay tuned for the crazy. <laughs> Thankfully I had one of these because there's no way I could see the back of my hair to do this section here. So I just don't want to get bleach on this, which is why I got the foils. And I'm really hoping that we can keep it nice and neat. I'm just like stalling you guys. I'm so nervous. I don't want my hair to break off. I already have short hair as it is. So just like the bottle says, you're supposed to do one part of um, this to two parts of this. So I have my scale here, my food scale, <laughs> and I'm gonna put my bowl there. I'm gonna tear it out. You could eyeball it, guys, but I'm not risking it. Okay, so let's see what we got here. It's quite thick. Let's do...
two ounces, a little over. And that means we're gonna put double that here. So we're gonna go up to 6.3. Mix it up really good. So she should look like this, nice and thick. Oh, this is gonna be so interesting because I can't see a thing. when I need like a little assistant to help me. <laughs> and the girls are in school today, so. My husband was like, you better not do your hair, just go to the salon. Here I am. Don't laugh at me too hard, you guys. Don't laugh at me. so hard. Definitely harder than I thought it was going to be. Since the back of the undercut is fully covered with foil, I'm not even going to continue to keep foiling each section. I'm just going to take small sections and do it like so. Because this is going to take me forever. I'm gonna have to put the foil there. I feel like I've been taking really good care of my hair. I haven't been putting heat to my hair every day. Um, even though my hair is straight today, I usually put heat to my hair like the day after I let it air dry. So I'll, I'll go to sleep with like wet hair, wake up, straighten it, and then I'll leave it like that for a few days. So I've been using heat protectant, um, doing treatments on my hair. I feel like doing the best that I can do. Um, realistically, I could just leave it alone and wear it curly every day in my natural state, but it's just been like so frizzy and out of control lately. So if you have any curly products that you recommend, please comment below because I'm always down to try some new products. I just need some direction in my life. <laughs> I did way too much product also. Um, in the bowl, like I'm not gonna use all this up, so it was totally like a waste, but next time I'll just do less. I'll start with less and then mix up more if I need to do more. It's a learning curve, you guys. I've never bleached my own hair, so this should be interesting. <laughs> Lovely. Get it, get it, get it. Last section! There she is. So I took one of the back foils out and I'm lifting like crazy. So I put a 20 minute timer on um, when I was like starting the front. Let's see, what does it say for time? Do not exceed 50 minutes. I would never exceed 50 minutes, I'd be bald. So I'm definitely gonna be rinsing this out soon. I'm gonna wash this out here in about five minutes. I have six minutes left on my timer and I'll show you what she looks like. We're up in my girls' bathroom because they have a hose for a shower that I can essentially wash my hair out with. Well, it did something, but not a lot, huh? It looks the same to me. Hmm. Rinse after, or wash after 30 minutes. 
Mmm, look at that. That's even more gold than before. Okay, let's see what it looks like dry. It's still great. I mean, I still have like such a great um, base like to put this on, but I just wish that it would have pulled a little more. I, maybe I shouldn't have bleached it at all. Um, this lighting is making it look super bright, but in the mirror, I can see a lot of this like gold band. Hey, it could be worse. So let's hope, let's hope that this pastel color covers up this ugly base that I have here. Are you ready to see the results? Bam! So I try to turn my lighting down so you can see the actual, like true color. And I did a little bit of a different parting. I'm just kind of playing around with it because it's so staticky from washing it. But look at that! It's so purple. I was expecting more, even of like a lighter lavender but I don't hate it. It's gonna fade like crazy. It already did not cover evenly like I expected because of my multi-shaded blonde hair. But what do you think, you guys? I think it's something fun to change it up. Let's see. I'm trying to find like some really good lighting so you can see it. Ta -da! I love it. It's fun, it's different. I might like choppy some of these pieces here, but Thanks for watching. I hope you like my new hair. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a great day.